<clears throat> Hello YouTube. Right. Now as promised, a bit later than I said, but I'm gonna be doing the dot mod Petri um 22mm RDA today. There's a the box. Bit of info on the back. Let's see if I can get it to you. It's probably backwards, I don't know. Camera's been playing up lately. Right, so there's a the box. Magnetised door. As you can see. Nice box, nice and solid. Start of the show. There's your uh, kit. So you've got your little crack vial with a cork in. It's really nicely put together. Got spare glass, baggy of all rings and stuff. Um, spare acrylic, drip tip, and your RTA. So, first of all, let's get out this. This is the little crack vial. Now, in there, you've got your you got little five ten screw spare. Um, deck screws because it's a pulseless deck and it does come with a couple of claptons nice claptons as well I've already used them I've got my own build in this one today so it's it's quality you know nicely nicely made you got your, your dot mod logo on the top of the cork there so yeah nice nice little uh, vial so you get a little spare, it's an 810, is it? Drip tip. I thought these were glass at first, but I think they're acrylic. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, nice and comfortable, all the same. Um, you spare glass. Little baggy of spare o rings. I'll shove that back. Everything's nice and tight in the box, there's no rattling around with it. And here's your tank. It's gorgeous. As you can probably if I shift. See straight through the the airflow. Um, this one is glass. The one that's already attached when you take it out of the box. It is a glass uh, drip tip, double O ringed. Really nice. Twenty four carat carat gold plate in. Um, really, really nice tank. Knurling in all the right places on this one. You got good knurling on the airflow. Good knurling on the because you take this off to fill it. Really nice. I'll show you the deck in a sec. Um, underneath all this, you've got authenticity card. Now the number on this should match the number on the tank. So that's that what it comes with. <clears throat> now um, to show you this, I'm going to show you the deck. Now there's an interesting way of getting the deck out or the bottom out. So I've got juice in this as well. So. Turn it upside down, just let it, let the juice slowly come away from your uh, fill, uh, wicking channels, right? So, flathead screwdriver, 510 pin, there's the bottom, it's all, it's all really nice and clean, the threading's something else on this. So, You'll take your 510, 
and your flathead screwdriver and you'll just give it a couple of turns you don't have to take it all the way out and then your deck will unscrew just like that so there's your deck well there's your bottom cup anyway your deck's still in there if you can see the two air holes so let's take this out and we will show you the build I've got in here so you know what you can do is there it is sitting in so you can just hold it and put your 510 in pinch it up and your deck won't move now that's it your decks your decks fixed so they're the two sort of coils I've got in they're just a stainless steel three millimeter wide now you your cotton does share you know the, the same sort of juice indentation so when you wick it it's dead forgiving I've not wicked this wrong yet. So three mil coils, it's stainless steel, nine wraps, gives me about 2.3, 2.5 ohms, 0.2, 0.3, 2.5. And that's how you wick it. And it it just works. It, it's perfect that. So to put it back in, I mean I want to show you if you can just see where the air holes are just under each one just under each coil they sort of bubble out a touch if you can, yeah you can see there now you've got to match that up with the two grooves so you've got if you can just see I'll try and get it into the light there's two grooves obviously your air slots are here and then your two grooves are on these side here so you just match that up but first of all after you've wicked it and got your hot spots out you just need to do the same thing again take your flathead one turn and it just loosens the deck slightly as you can see it move so what we'll do is we'll line up them where it bubbles out under the air slot just like that and it will find its way in and once it's in you just screw it down tighten your fire 10 up it don't have to be you don't have to go mental with it and, and start tightening it up and I mean that's why they give you the, the 510 spare post screw for the bottom um, but yeah that's it then it's ready to go I mean I, like I said I have got juice in so you, you know it is possible to turn upside down and change your car if you need to um, so what we'll do is we'll stick it on. So let's stick it on this dot mod dot box seventy five. We'll open the air the airflow fully, and that's how it looks on that. Nice with the gold buttons on the the dot box and the gold blingy tank. It's really nice. You know, it's a really nice setup that. As you can see, they're there. You've got two big juice holes, sort of juice intake holes. And like I said, um, wicking this thing, I've not done it wrong yet. I've not had a bad wicking experience with this. It, it's really forgiving. I've used less cotton, I've used more cotton, I've not had no dry it, so there's been no leaking. 
it just seems to work and work flawlessly as far as I'm concerned I mean the major con on this on the tank is is undoing the 510 for me that's a major con you know you can't do it on the fly you know if you're out and you need to change a coil it's just a bit of faffing about you know um, you need to be sat down and have all your tools you know your flatheads and plus all your, your, your coil building equipment it's just that's just it but the coils in this it obviously depends what coils you're using how long they're going to last you it holds two mil of juice for me not enough but are you compromising on flavor to get more juice in because the flavor off this is immense it's really really nice um i'll just show i'll just show you how it vapes what we're on here i mean that coming in at 0.22 is i'm going to put it to you know let's put it to 50 watts I'm not long since wick this so put the coils in so right point two two point two five at fifty watts so let's have a have a bash on it perfect Perfect amount of restriction on the airflow, that's wide open that. That's how I like it, I like it at wide open. So let's just have a have a look. We'll close it halfway. Close it halfway off, there we go. Chuck's chuck some decent clouds. Um, as you can see, look at the big air, the big air bubble there. There we go. Just caught it. Wicks, wicks flawlessly. It really does. Um, what more can I say? You will be filling this up a lot more because it's a two mil tank. So you'll think you're burning more juice, but you're not. You're just filling it up more because it only holds two mil. Chucks, it's a little chucker. So that setup there, for me, is one of the best setups I've had. It really is. I can't recommend the pairing enough. I mean, I do obviously use the tank on other things. I've used it on me. IPv6, I use it on my IPv3, it looks good on everything, everything I put it on, you know, I use it on the Zenith, you can use that on anything, you know, it's lovely, it's a, it's a proper nice tank that, so I'll, th I'll just try and get this juice a bit further down. <laughs> what over there right I'll just shut this air this airflow off now I have filled it with the airflow still open and there's still been no leaks so what whatever they've done here they've done, they've done a, a brilliant job on it and the air intake inside under the coils is raised a couple of mil um, which I think helps especially for the leaking if they flush get a bit of juice on there a bit of juice dripping off your coil or something and you it's coming out your air holes this has been I've not had a drop out of this it's really nice so you take your top get a bit closer and you just undo it it's the same as you you do with any top fill and there we go. Your top's off and it's got a big O ring there. Big spongy O ring for you know, you're not gonna get no leaks out the top of that. So I'll just show you the four there's four fill ports 
in it which you just I mean the needle nose bottles are perfect for it I mean I, I, I do use these as well which are pretty big um, I've not had no problem filling it I just go for one hole and it finds its way around and, go, and, and just and just drops down into the tank it's you know I would have preferred two larger holes you know like a long hole there a long hole there sort of kidney shapes but this 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 has been fine I've got no qualms about it really so you take your juice and you fill it this is a grape um, a grape juice that I make myself and there you go like I said the it's just buttery smooth all the threading on this is is second to none and I've not really I'll give that drip tip a wipe actually I mean with it being glass it does condensate or so there you go that is the Petri or the Petri RTA by dot mod Um, someone's trying to ring me here. Oh, let's get rid of that. <laughs> um, right. So that's that. Do I recommend this? Yeah. Pfft. This is the best RTA I've had. Ever had. It's proper nice. Um, proper nice bit of kit. It's expensive, I think. It's I think for the you know for a two mil RTA, looking around fifty quid, fifty pounds. I've seen them like for sixty sixty five dollars, but hmm, not sure about the price. For what you're getting, you know, to some people it might be a con the price, but to me, what now I've used it not a lot of money for something that does what it's supposed to do you know there's no fighting with this there's no wicking issues it's so forgiving so yeah so that's that do I recommend it hell yeah it's one of the best RTAs I've had a little flavor chucker so that's me, I hope you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, see how many I can get, right so I hope you enjoyed that, a P tree get one, give it a give, give it a good, a good going over because it's top notch, apart from the faffing about you know, it delivers, it just delivers, right that's me, Um What have we got next, actually? I know I'm a bit late to the park with this one, but I wanted a single coil RTA and I went with this one, the Amit. So, the Amit 25, we'll have a look at that. I've been using it, been liking it, that's all you know. Um, and we'll pop that up as soon as I can. As soon as I get some spare time, I'll I'll sort it out. Right, so that's me, and that was the Petri, Petri, by Dot Mod. Beautiful tank. See you soon. Peace out, vapors. <laughs>